Hi, my name is Cristian Lopez. I'm a software engineer for the technical marketing and community team here at Hortonworks. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to deploy the Hortonworks data platform sandbox using VMware on macOS. For further details, check out the description below. The first step to get started is to download the sandbox. First, open a browser and navigate to hortonworks.com forward slash downloads. Here you'll find a Hortonworks sandbox as well as the HTTP and HTF platforms. Ensure you're on a sandbox on a VM section and look for VMware. Select Download. Once your download is completed, ensure that you have the correct version. HTTP 3.0.1 VMware. Once you've downloaded the sandbox, you want to import it onto VMware. Open VMware Fusion and select Import an Existing Virtual Machine. Click Continue and choose the file you just downloaded. Select Continue and choose where you want to store the virtual disk. Click Save and wait for your sandbox to import. Once you finish importing the sandbox, click Finish and the sandbox you just deployed will begin. The sandbox deployment process will take approximately 25 to 30 minutes. Once the sandbox has finished deploying, you will need to associate the IP address given to you in the VMware section to the sandbox hostname. In order to do this, open a terminal and use VI to edit your host file. Here, you will enter the unique IP address given to you on the VMware section and the sandbox hostname. The sandbox hostname is simply sandbox hdp.hortonworks.com. Once you're done, exit and save. Now open a new browser and navigate to sandbox hdp.hortonworks.com, port 1080. Here you'll find the sandbox launch page. On the left hand side, you'll find resources for new users, and on the right, you'll find quick links for advanced users. Here you'll find shortcuts to some of the most used services in NHP, such as Ambari, DAS, and Set. However, if you're new, select Lance Dashboard on the left-hand side. It'll bring up two new windows. The first is getting started with HTTP. This is the first tutorial in the series, and I highly recommend doing it. You'll also find Ambari's UI. Here, you control your OneNote cluster. You'll need it for the first tutorial. Okay, now you're ready to get started.